look, I do not want juice at all. What I want is a glass of red wine. See, I finished a bottle of Bailey's and it tasted so delicious. <laughs> Zoe, you need to stop. Since you've been dating the teenager, your entire lifestyle has changed. You smoke, you drink, you party. That boy is a bad influence on you. Besides, you're older than him. Bola, please, don't talk about my boyfriend in that manner. There's something called respect. Respect my boyfriend. It's my choice, my relationship. Are you angry? I'm sorry. I wonder how you guys cope on the dark. <laughs> Obviously someone is in love. You know what they say. Beautiful things are best seen in the dark. And as for love, I think I am in love. Or something like that. <laughs> so tell me more. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <gasps> Good news. Good news. What's new? Okay, your girl will be getting engaged soon. To who? My boyfriend, of course. Um, actually, we both went online and ordered for a very beautiful diamond ring. Ah! Miranda, don't yeah. tell me you are going to be engaged to Ali. To the guy that treats you like trash and even cheated on you. Um, see, babes, he already apologized. And that was even the reason why we both went online, shopped for the diamond ring. And once the other comes, he's going to propose. Ah! Meanwhile, why are you guys looking at me like this? Don't tell me you're jealous of me because I'm getting engaged though. Jealous? Me? We? Jealous? Jealous of who? That guy. Or they call the dog. <laughs> that, that dog wants to be your fiancé. <laughs> you guys should just shut up. You're just enemies of progress. Oh, I think I know better. Because I'm getting engaged, you guys are hating. You guys are losers. Please. I'm disappointed in you. Yeah. See this girl? This one don't colo. Please, I want my glass of wine. Bola. She's inside. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Your girl is getting married. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. Married? That's a joke of a century. Yeah. I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, why are you guys sounding sarcastic? Oh, I get it. Is it my fault that you don't have a boyfriend? Or you can't get a man? You know what? You two need to start reading love books. Yes, so you get to learn about love and relationships. Miranda, you need to get that thought out of your mind. Nobody here is jealous of you, okay? In fact, we're very happy for you. Miss Zoe, either you're happy or not, doesn't stop the fact that I am getting married in two months. And as a matter of fact, my wedding invitation is coming out tomorrow. Um, I might as well let both of you be in the bridal train. Or either of you in the sub-planning committee. I'm not talking about the real committee. I mean the sub-planning committee. Was that the reason why you called me? Yes. Whatever. <laughs> um, meanwhile, girls, is there food in this house? Because I'm so hungry because I need to start eating well. So once my Romeo comes <laughs> in... <laughs> What's funny? Mm. You know the way to the kitchen. Okay? And for your information, I hope this Romeo of yours is like the real Romeo. <laughs>
Look, you need to be more serious with your life. Gallivanting around will take you nowhere. Your grades are not doing too well in school. Just shut up. Are you my mom? Why do you want to pay my fees? Why, why do you keep reminding me about my grades? Because I am your girlfriend. Your soul mate. Plus, I'm older than you. I have every right to put you through the right path. I can't just watch you go astray. Then you go again. I'm doing my best to ensure I graduate with good grades. I just don't know what's wrong. I don't know. Sweetheart, you need to study more and play less. Stop hanging with those you call your friends. They're not doing you any good. Study more and graduate with good grades. And then you can get a good job and be a more responsible young man. Thank you. Can we talk about something else? This is how you always avoid this conversation. You need to be more serious. You need to be responsible for your sake. And my sake. Zoe, you need it. I promise to change for the better. Can we leave now? Promise? I promise. That's my man. <laughs> At me you need to see the way the guy is just spending money all over me we keep shopping from one place to the other that guy is in love I'm in love I hope you know what you're doing of course yes as I told rich like this for these Legos <laughs> so what's up with you me you know what me Marina, <laughs> uh, why are you crying? <laughs> Miranda, what's wrong? <laughs> well, he said he loves me. Uh -huh. He made me believe I'm the only one in his life right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, he lied. <laughs> Miranda, please, take heart. Stop crying over this. <laughs> Don't tell me to stop crying. It will never be well whatever it is right now. Uh -huh. well, I will never have no peace whatever it is right now. <laughs> It will never be well wallet for breaking my heart. I swear to God, it will never be well wallet. Oh my God. Fine. What you did is wrong. <laughs> but as a good Christian, we don't need to curse people. You don't tell me that. I will curse wallet with all the verses in the Bible. Because the Bible says, Bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. I will curse wallet with Malachi. I will curse wallet with Job. In fact, from Genesis to Revelation, I will continue to curse wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Wale has just lost a treasure. I swear to God, it will never be well, Wale. It will never be well, Wale. It broke my heart. Ah. Oh. Welcome, Zoe. How are you? Ah, how am I? <laughs> I am tired, hungry. <laughs> What I need right now is to eat, take a bath, and then go to bed. Oh, sorry. You must have an ethic day. I made some rice. You want some? You are such a darling sister. <laughs> All right. Zoe. I have something to tell you. Can't it wait? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yeah. For who? I'll let you come out my boyfriend. Did I hear you right? Your boyfriend. You're pregnant for a married man with three wives. And you call that your boyfriend? Wait, 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 wait. Let me correct you. You're pregnant for your married man friend. <sighs> Have you told him? Yes, I told him already and he's going to marry me. In fact, I'm meeting the family next week. Pula, you're making me feel like I'm watching a movie. For goodness sake, you are beautiful. Are you sure you're taking the right step? Yes, I am. He loves me and I love him too. And you don't mind being his fourth wife. He marries you and then he goes in to marry two, three or four wives. And then the hula baloo of the Federal University of Polygamy. 
Zoe. Happiness is all that matters, provided it can give me rest of mind. We both love each other. Rest of mind. Happiness. Okay. It's fine. It is well. <laughs> Can I get to you right now? Yes. What's wrong with you? You look so worried. I've been calling David for the past 20 minutes and he's not picking my calls. He must be busy, probably in the lecture room. David, lecture room. <laughs> he doesn't attend classes. I've told you severally to stop worrying yourself about him. This boy does not love you. You deserve a man that will treat you like a queen that you are. Paula, I may not like or approve David's lifestyle, but I love him. For how long will you keep up with his bullshit? For how long will you keep up with his youthful exuberance? This boy does not see any form of future with you. Let him date people of his age. You deserve a man that will treat you like a queen that will love you. Wait till they be inside the boy self. Not be said the boy could find like that. I really love your sister and I would appreciate it if you would let her know. Hmm? Wait, you, you met my sister just once and you're already talking about love. Love. I'm so sorry, Mr. Kachi. My sister is not for play. Who says I want to play with her heart? Guy, you know me well. I don't play around. I only go for what I want. I don't know you. God, I tell you, this is my sister we're talking about here. Um, you know me very well. If it were to be someone else, I would probably help you, and you know that. But for my sister, Mr. Kachi, it's a no from me. Guy, are you going to get married to your sister? Why are you being so uptight about this whole thing? Okay, let me tell you. My sister is a very emotional and a sensitive lady. So I would do anything to protect her from cheaters like you. Players like you. So, Mr. Kachi, case closed. Can I at least have her phone number? No. No? Yeah. Seriously? 100% sure. Wow. Okay. No problem. I'm good. And you? Are you serious? <laughs> um. It was nice seeing you. You want us to meet? <laughs> I look forward to seeing you too. Alright then. Bye. I've been calling you and you've refused to pick up my calls. Are you avoiding me? Zoe, I've been busy lately. Busy? Busy doing what? I know you don't attend lectures. Oh, I see. 
you have been busy gallivanting with your so-called friends. Enough, Zoe. Enough. I'm not a toddler. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep monitoring my life? Why? My life, my choice, my business, not your damn business. <sighs> I see you've grown wings. <laughs> David, David, David. One thing I want you to know is that you are treading on the path to destruction. I was just trying to help you. That's all. Zoe, you know the problem I have with you? You're just so domineering. You want everything to be about you. You want everyone to be, to be at your beck and call. Why? Why does everything have to be about you? Why? Just tell me why. Zoe, I am tired. I am tired of your tantrums. I am tired of your bullshit. I am tired of everything about you. Trust me, I am tired. <sighs> right now, I can't do this anymore. Zoe, it's over. Observation. Will you stop teasing me? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're just a not case. <laughs> Isn't it obvious that you're love struck? You're not serious. <laughs> Remember, I used to tell you back then that you deserve a man that would treat you like a queen that you're her. Now see what's going on. <laughs> Madam Love. Anyway, how's the baby? I hope he's not kicking too hard. Baby's healthy. In fact, I'm meeting a like his family next week. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> I'll say cheers to that. But honestly, life changes with time. If you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Uh, baby. Aren't you hungry? Uh, <sighs> baby, don't worry. I'm not starving yet. I, I can wait a little longer. If you say so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see my sister is really taking good care of you. Well, I'm taking care of your sister as well. <laughs> right, honey? Yes, she is. 
Okay. Food? <sighs> Baby, I'm really not starving. But if you insist, I can say no. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm jealous here. You never made my favorite before you met this rascal of a guy. Don't call my husband a rascal. Uh uh, please. You're my brother. He is my husband. <laughs> tell him. Tell him that. You know, it's funny how in the beginning your brother never wanted us hooking up. Mm -hmm. But you see how life is? Today he is here in our house about to enjoy our sumptuous meal. Mm. Life. You and I know that every good brother would do anything to protect a sister from any man causing her any emotional damage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. We hear you. <laughs> anyway, um, can I go bring the food? Okay, baby. Let's get down to it. I'm for you too. Wait, wait. Before that, I want to say something real quick. From the look of things, eh? I think you both deserve an award as the best couple of the century. Because I can see you both are in love. <laughs> Thank you. What can I say? Abby. Baby. Mm. <laughs> anyway, excuse me. Okay. Emeka. All right. Congrats. Thank you. You see how life changes? How's everything? Fine. And you? I'm good too. Uh, how's your sister Zoe? She's fine. Uh, she's actually married to a very rich investment uh, banker. Oh, that's super great. Oh, <laughs> can you just give me a number? Alright, let me help you. <laughs> this guy can be naughty though. <laughs> can he be naughty as you? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, like you and you're naughty. Uh, oh. Not that naughty, I mean. <laughs> so, what do you mean? How do you mean? <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> Who's that, baby? I don't know. Wrong number, I guess. Hmm. Hello? 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 Can you imagine? The What's guy that? is speaking Alza. <laughs> Maybe it's network jam. Why would an Alza man be calling me? <laughs> Maybe he wants to say naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> say naughty things to you. Oh, please. The kind of naughty things you like. Should we I'm naughty? Watch the movie. <laughs> Why did you give my number to David? Do you realize I am now a married woman? Do you want to ruin my home for me? Oh, he was disturbing you for my number, so you had to give it to him. Hmm? You're sorry. I'll get back to you. I will get back to you. Leave me alone! 
What is it, David? What is your problem? Leave me alone. Do you calm down? Take it easy. Why are you embarrassing me in public? Why? Why are you stalking? You do not even act it on my number. Act it on my whereabouts. Please leave me alone. Zoe. Zoe, I love you. Zoe, I miss you. Why are you doing this to me? Zoe, why? We were once together and you loved me back then. You can still love me now. Oh, okay. Wait. Thank you for reminding me. But you know what? Look at this. Look at this. I am married. I am married now. Do you want to destroy my home? Zoe, you know what? Zoe, just one thing. One thing. Just one thing. Can we do dinner sometime? Dinner sometime. Nothing attached. I'll be fine. Dinner, right? Yes. Just as friends? Nothing attached. Only friends? Yes. See. Breakfast? Yes. Lunch? I'm down. Dinner? Fine. You are not going to get anything from me. Leave me alone. Zoe. 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 I told you to leave me alone. Zoe, don't do this. Zoe, don't do this to me. Zoe, why? Zoe, don't leave. Why? Zoe. Emeka, why did you give David my number? I am so sorry. I had no idea. I sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. You have no idea. It's like you and Miranda planted. Are you sure the two of you are not dating? Because she's been disturbing me about you. Uh-uh. Come on. Me. Date Miranda. I can't now. She's too fat for my liking. I don't date girls like that. Even if I would want a girl, I want a girl like you. Not like Miranda. Mika. Even me, I don't want a girl like that for you. But please, you need to talk to David. Tell him to leave me alone. I don't want anything to happen to my marriage. Kachi loves me and I love him. I will talk to him. And if he doesn't listen, I swear to God, I will punch his face. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Are oh, you looking beautiful? <laughs> Your friend is doing a good job. Sure, sure, I can see. <laughs> Regret, not a good thing to talk about. Alhaji, I regret marrying you. You promised me love and affection. You put my life in a total mess. You cheat on me. <sighs> You affected me with STD thrice, three good times. I married you because of financial stability. But what I get is total heartbreak. You abused me emotionally beats me. Oh God, my life is in a total mess. Help me. coming from. Hi, baby. I said, where are you coming from? From my... From my sister's, Vivian. Um, when I left her place, I had a flat tire. And you know how it is. A flat tire? Yes, a flat tire. And, and then I was told by the police and then I, went, I ran into a ditch. 
Sweetheart, I really had a bad day. I'm very tired. What I need right now is to go inside, take a shower and then go to bed. Not to worry. Very soon I'll get you the best of it. Okay, when would that be? I said very soon. Okay, can't wait for it too. <laughs> How's it going? So are you cheating on me? What sort of question is that? Answer me! Are you cheating on me? No, I'm not! How dare you accuse me of such? You accuse your wife of three years of infidelity? I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're not. If only you had an ounce of trust. You won't even think about it, not to even talk of accusing me. This is an insult. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. has to stop. I can't continue. My husband is becoming more suspicious of late. I can't lose my home. I can't continue. Zoe, we're adults. There's a difference between who we love, who we settle for, and who we are meant for. Why kid yourself in a loveless marriage when there is a way out? Way out? Yes, there is a way out. Divorce. Divorce your husband and continue with me. I have a child. I have to put that into consideration before making any drastic decision. Zoe, I will take care of you and your child. Divorce your husband and continue with me. I'm capable of taking care of both of you. You think it's that easy, huh? <laughs> Lover boy, Muscle, you had your chance. You blew it. Zoe, there you go again. I was young and naive. Why don't you let the past slide? And let's face the future. I love you, and now I want what belongs to me. Impossible. Impossible.
What are you doing here? Zoe, what's the sky without the stars? What's my life without you? I miss you, Zoe. I've been calling you and you ain't picking my calls. Do you know I'm married? What if my husband walks in? Do you want to put me in trouble? How did you even find this place? Zoe, just chill. Don't be too hard on me. This is David. Your love, David. You need to leave now. Are you okay? Where is your inhaler? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Take it easy. Take it easy. No, 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 no you I can't. Have to call the you, you can't do that, okay? There's no need to call the police. We'll sort this out. Sort what out? My father is lying here dead, and you're telling me we'll sort it out. Listen to me. If you call the police, I will get arrested and I might go to jail, okay? If I go to jail, who will take care of you? Who will take care of our child? Kachi, you killed him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It was a mistake. to me. Impossible. Are you serious? I am telling you, life in the prison is not that easy. Wow. It's not funny at all. Mm. You'll smell your anus. Whoa. Hello, darling. Sweetheart. Hi, um, mm. How's your day? It was great. Fine. Thank you. Welcome. What's wrong, honey? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, meet my big cousin, Ibuka. Ibuka, meet my wife, Zoe. Who's your wife? You call this bitch your wife? I beg your pardon? 
This devil dressed in human clothes, your wife. What sort of nonsense is this, Ibuka? How dare you insult my wife in my presence? You're just meeting her for the first time. Honey, I can explain. I can explain what? What is going on? Look, look, Kachi, you're my younger cousin. Maybe I should be in a better position to explain this to you. I and Zoe used to work together in one company. In fact, she was my bedmate. Nothing to hide. Then we did a business. In fact, let me open up. We defrauded our company a huge sum of money. We made a lot of money. And we planned to elope with the money. All of a sudden, this, this devil disappeared into the thin air with the money. And I covered up for her, hoping that she would come back. Uh, somehow, the auditor of the company discovered that there was tampering in the cash flow of the company. And I was arrested and jailed. This thief did not come back with my money. All I want now is my money or else they will trouble. But I tried contacting you. Will you just shut up? Contacting who? Well, sweetheart, relax. Calm down. Look, all I want is my money. All I want is my money and I'm going to collect it here and now. Don't go here. Just sit down and I'm going to collect my money from you. Whether you like it or not. I sincerely apologize for my wife's misdeeds. So let's forget about the past, bury the hatchet and move on. Move on? Kachi? This is money we are talking about here. Look, if your wife will not give me my money, I swear to God I will implicate you. And trust me, you will rot in jail. Ebuka, hey, I said I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I lost the money. While I was trying to move the money to a bank, I was robbed. Ta! Ta, dear! Liar! Look, do I look like one small boy or small girl you come and tell all this cock and bull story? Look, if you don't give me my money, I'm just respecting you. If you don't give me my money, I will deal with you. I will sincerely deal with you. Enough, Ebuka. Enough. I will not have you talk to my wife in such a manner, okay? Mm -hmm. Have little respect for my wife. She explained everything to me. Anyway, I have decided to sort this whole thing out by settling you. I will give you a check. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will give you a check of five million. No, no, no. Ten million naira. But it's only seven million. Ta! Ta dear, what do you know about money? Thief. When men, when men are talking, mom, 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 still talk. I will only accept the, that offer until I see that money in my bank account. When I see the alert, pam, pam, pam. Otherwise, I will deal with you. I swear to God, you need me. Gallivanting around, we take you nowhere. Your grades are not doing too well in school. Just shut up. Are you my mom? Or are you the one paying my fees? Why, why do you keep reminding me about my grades? Because I am your girlfriend. Your soul mate. Plus, I'm older than you. I have every right to put you through the right path. I can't just watch you go astray. There you go again. I'm doing my best to ensure I graduate with good grades. I just don't know what's wrong. I don't know. Sweetheart. You need to study more and play less. Stop hanging with those you call your friends. They're not doing you any good. Study more and graduate with good grades. And then you can get a good job and be a more responsible young man. Take it easy. Why are you embarrassing me in public? Why? Why are you stalking? You do not even act on my number. Act on my whereabouts. Please leave me alone. Zoe. Zoe, I love you. Zoe, I miss you. Why are you doing this to me? Zoe, why? We were once together and you loved me back then. You can still love me now. Oh, okay. Wait. Thank you for reminding me. But you know what? Look at this. Look at this. I am married. I am married now. Do you want to destroy my home? Zoe, you know what? Zoe, just one thing. One thing. Just one thing. Can we do dinner sometime? Dinner sometime. Nothing attached. I'll be fine. Dinner, right? Yes. Just as friends? Nothing attached. Only friends? Yes. See. Breakfast? Yes. Lunch? I'm down. Dinner? Fine. You are not going to get anything from me. Leave me alone. Zoe. 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 I told you to leave me alone. Zoe, don't do this. Zoe, don't do this to me. Zoe, why? Zoe, don't leave. Why? Zoe.
David! David! Kachi! What have you done? Zoe, I notice you are not feeling good. Are you not happy I came by? I am. I am just tensed. Tensed? Zoe, how? Tell me. What is the problem? She's uh, just stressed lately. All is well. Stressed? Zoe, how? We were just on our way to the spa before you came. You know, massage and all. Oh. All right. Let me take my leave now. I'll come see you later. All right. Stop acting suspicious. You think it's easy to witness a murder? Oh. A murder? Did you say a murder? It's all your fault. You've no respect for our union. For my love for you. You brought your lover into my house and now you flip the whole situation on me. And is that enough reason to kill him? Because it wasn't intentional. I was furious. And everything happened in the blink of an eye. Zoe, I love you. Why did you do this to me? I trusted you. I gave it to you. Why? Why did you cheat on me? You killed him. You killed him. You killed him! You killed him! You killed him! Hi, girl. 
It's been a while, you know. Ah, uh -uh, Miranda. Bola. Hmm, I haven't seen her in a while. You know she's married now. She has to cater for family. Oh, I see. What do you mean? If my man cheats on me, what will I do? You forgive him and move on. What? Do you know what you are saying? Kachi will never do that to me. He loves me. Are you sure? Do you know what you are saying? Miranda, Kachi loves me very, very much. You're certain. Okay. What's up? You were supposed to have set the table. I've been in the kitchen slogging it out for over two hours. Preparing our wedding anniversary lunch. What's happening? Baby, you should loosen up. I'm not in any mood for celebration. Oh, gosh. Can we just put the past behind us and move on. It's been three years of endless blame and guilt. Three years. Can we just go back to being the happy couple that we used to be? Cheers. Happy anniversary. I'll be in the other living room resting my head. So this is how Kachi chooses to pay me after keeping his secret all these years. Take it easy. He murdered David. He cheated on me. Now he has a child with another woman. And to make matter worse, he willed his property to this woman and the child, leaving me with nothing. Now I am the fool. 
Why did you keep this secret from me for so long? You have opened up to me earlier. You know, I am your only sister. I know, big sis. I know, and I'm sorry. He made me a prisoner to my own conscience. I can't hold it any longer. Kachi has to pay. He has to pay. Sis, you need to help me. You need to help me bring him down. He must face the law. There must be justice. It may not be easy. But you're a lawyer. You can do something. Please help me do something. I am guilt-ridden. I'm sorry for Kachi's crime. We need evidence. I mean, enough evidence. Remember, you covered his crime. So we need to, to be very, very careful not to implicate you. Evidence? What evidence are you talking about? He is a murderer. He murdered David. The man who ever loved me. I hate him. I hate him. I'll tell the judge everything when we get to court. We are treading on dangerous water. Leave the case to me. I assure you, Kashi will face the law. You... You murderer! Cheat! Liar! Deceiver! You killed David, and you made me keep the secret all these years. After all, after everything, you betrayed me. You betrayed me. You deserve to die. Go to hell. The weight of guilt has been crushing me all these years. I regret for knowing you. Guys, that was the guy. Officer, come in and arrest this. Mr. Oscar. Ha, arrest you. Gentleman, what is happening here? Zoe, Zoe, what have you done? Oh my God. Zoe, I thought I told you not to take laws into your hands. Why didn't you wait? Oh my God, Zoe. Zoe, you have just annihilated everything. 